Hi guys, on this video we're going to be looking at how to use estimation to check our answers, so let's get straight to it. Using an estimation to check our answers is something that's quite simple to do and really make sure that we're not making silly mistakes when we're doing our work. Okay, I want to show you how it works. Now, what you'll have to do to be able to do this is to round. So if you're unsure of how to round numbers, if you click up there, take to my video, I teaches you how to round numbers, okay? Because I'm not going to go into that in too much detail in this video. But see, we've got this sum here, 4,212 plus 1,891. Yes, we'll do column addition to find out our answer, but we want to check to see the answer. Quickly, what we want to do is we want to change these numbers so they've only got one digit that isn't zero, okay? So what I mean in that one is this 4,212. So I'm going to round this thing as 1,000, and I'll see it to 4,000 and 5,000. And with this one, I'll see it to 2,000. Okay, so I'm going to say that would equal 6,000. It's an easy sum for me to do. That took me a couple of seconds, and I now know that my answer should be around 6,000. Okay, so I need my approximately equals 6,000. And that lets me know if I work out that answer and I get something like uh, 12, 13, 14,000, I'm probably wrong. If I'm 6,000 and a bit, or 5,900 and something, then my answer is more likely to be right. Okay. Same would work with the takeaway, so I've got 7,700, I'm going to round that to 8,000. And I'm going to take away, that's closer to 4,000. And easy sum, because I just take 4,000s away from 8,000s. Oh. So I know that answer is going to be around 4,000. Now, what you also have to see with these is the more that you round the number by, what I mean is I'm rounding 212 there, okay? That's how many I'm taking off to get the 4,000. Uh, this one, I'm adding uh, just over 200 on. That one, I'm adding back just under 100 on. The bigger the number that you're sort of moving, the further out your answer will be, okay? So if you were just rounding by 10s and you were taking off a couple, and here you have a couple there, your answer is going to be, your estimation, sorry, is going to be closer than if you were taking off a couple of hundred, a couple of thousand, depending on the size of your numbers. So we can also do it with our multiplication. And this is where it really helps us out because with addition and subtraction, we can maybe see roughly what the estimate the answer is. With this one, it's going to be harder. So we're going to do the same thing, but I'm doing 611 times 4 here. I know I can times by 4, so I'm not going to do anything with that number. What I'm going to do my 600 is again change it so there's only one digit that is in a 0. So I'm going to round it to 600, that's the closest 100, and times that by 4. Okay. Now what I'm going to do again to make this some easier, I'm going to do 6 times 4. Okay. So we've got our 6, 12, 18, 24. So I now know that that equals 24, and I'll plus my two zeros on that I take, took off. So I've got 2,400. So now I know my answer is going to be around 2,400. And that will really help me when I check, because it's harder to work out where your answer might be with these numbers. And I'll do the same again here. Now I've got the 1,000 number, okay? So I've got 2,819. I'm going to round that up to 3,000. Times that by 5. So I'll do my 3 times 5 which is 5, 10, 15. So I know that this answer is 15. Add my three zeros this time that I've taken off. Okay, so I know roughly my answer is going to be around 15,000. And like I said before, this answer is going to be closer to the actual answer than this one. Because on this one, I've already taken 11 off. On this one, I've had to add, add a couple of hundred on. And also remember that as well, if you're rounding up, so I'm rounding up on this one, okay, my answer's probably a little bit less than this. If I'm rounding down, my answer's probably a little bit more than this because the number's bigger that I'm timesing. And when you do that now, if you work out an answer, if your answer's around that, you can be a little bit more confident that your answer's right. So if you forget to carry one on your column multiplication or column addition, and you've got a completely wrong number, you'll be able to see. Hope that video helped out.
Hope you found that video useful, guys. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. You'll get notifications of any videos that I put up as and when I do. Please share it if you know anyone that will benefit from this and find it useful. And if you've got any questions or anything, comment or use the Twitter or the Facebook page. Till next time, see you later.